it wasn't just Brock who flopped in the desert, though. It was the Niners in general. This was really interesting to me. They, they got outplayed by the Raiders both days. And the Raiders really rubbed it in today. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo was driving down the field on the Niners' uh, starting defense. Then they put Brian Hoyer in with the backups against a lot of the Niners starters on defense. And he led touchdown drives. Brian Hoyer. I'm not saying the Niners or the Raiders are better than the Niners. But I am saying in these two practices, August 10th, August 11th, Raiders outplayed him. So what do I make of that? I feel like the Niners didn't really take this, these joint practices that seriously. It's interesting, on Tuesday before they went down, they had a practice where the offense dropped the ball six times. And I told you at the time, from the sideline, Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner were just ridiculing the offensive players from the sideline after every drop, saying things such, not direct quotes, but paraphrasing sort of like, hey, these guys are not locked in, and they're already in Vegas. They're on the strip. Mentally, which I thought was an interesting thing to say, like an upcoming distraction. You guys are already in Vegas mode and you're dropping passes, essentially. So what happens when they go to Vegas? Not even Vegas, Henderson, Nevada. They blow it. It's a carryover of how they played on Tuesday. This Niners team has been sort of sleepwalking sleep, sleep since Tuesday. I don't know what they thought they were going to get out of these joint practices maybe they thought the Raiders were trash because they beat them in overtime last year at the end of the season but I don't know the Raiders D-line really made the Niners O-line look bad Chandler Jones and Max Crosby made Colt McKivitz look just like Colt McKivitz which was eye-opening and it just didn't feel like a high energy practice it felt like the Niners haven't really had a high energy practice in a few days and you wonder like why <laughs> are you guys exhausted from playing all those like 40 games in the last two years because a lot of people are picking you to win the Super Bowl. They're saying this is the year they're going to start fast and finish strong and win it all because they have Christian McCaffrey and and they have the real deal at quarterback and he's making NFL minimum wage. The Niners are going to win the Super Bowl. Or not. So they basically kind of mailed it in. Don't know why. Maybe they're pacing themselves. But they're supposed to be kicking it into second gear now. And they didn't. Raiders did. Someone asked Josh McDaniels after practice, how does it feel to outplay the Niners in practice? And he was like, oh, well, we don't have any scoreboards out here. I really I think the Niners, were, we, all, we all learned a little bit from that. <laughs> he was so scared. Is Kyle saying that scary? I don't know. Oh, there's a... There's a there's no scoreboards out here. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Josh, for reminding us. But good practice for them. I just feel like the, the Raiders have to come out of these joint practices feeling confident. Like, hey, not only do we just hold our own with the, with the Niners, like we kind of punked them. We intercepted their starting quarterback four times. Five, including seven on sevens. And... Our starting quarterback, who used to be their starting quarterback, who they don't want anymore, actually played kind of well. Like, is it possible that our coach, Josh McDaniels, is going to get more out of him than Kyle did? Maybe. That's possible. And the Raiders are thinking all these things now. And the Niners are thinking, is it possible that Brock was a flash in the pan? Is it possible that Brock is just diet Jimmy and maybe not even as good now that he's coming off this injury and hasn't had the whole offseason and he's not even ready? Is it possible we made a huge mistake getting rid of Jimmy Garoppolo and we don't have a viable starter and we're not going to win the Super Bowl this year? I think that could be going through the Niners. Head. Or they're just saying, you know what? I don't care. I'm not thinking about these joint practices. They don't matter. I'm going to the strip. Don't know. I'll go to the strip later see if I, see if I see him. I'll tell you. <laughs> Ryan G. Hensley says, here's $9.99 for the slots. Well, thank you. That sounds like fun. I've never really played the slots. You just put 10 bucks in and then pull the, pull the thing and then walk away because you lose. That seems like what happens. And then people are like, man, I'm addicted to this great feeling that I get from doing this. Like, dog, you just put $10 in a machine and made a bunch of sounds, some lights lit up, and then you they stole your money. And you were like, man, I just can't get enough. 
I shit, man, I can't come back to Vegas, man. You gotta, you gotta hold me back. It's too much fun. I don't get it. Sorry, that was an oversimplification. I just always lose. So I don't understand what the fun is. Shreddy Murphy says, Trey got to play for his life slash career on Sunday. Would Kyle limit him to keep him buried on the roster? I don't know. I think possible. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Mr. Cut4 says, doesn't zero reps for Trey and Darnold just uh, uh, mean they get full reps in the preseason game? Yes, and I'm going to talk about that. Batcher says, frame in the Brock in the back resembles, <laughs> frame in the back resembles your future 100K plaque. Can't wait for that. Hopefully soon. Big Tim 3 says, biggest mistake they made was drafting Solomon Thomas. I was just reminiscing today. Remember in 2017 when Robert Sala had his starting DNs were Solomon Thomas and Eric Armstead? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you, he, he really started two D t tackles at D end in 2017. The league has changed a lot. Now Eric Arms is like considered one of the best D tackles in the league, but for a while the Niners like, hey, why don't you lose thirty pounds and play Leo? Like, what? Anyway, never understood that. Mike drops with Monsa says, gotta appreciate Williams not even thinking about Brock's picks as Brock says he needs to get all of his arm back. The hubris will close the window. Yeah. There is some hubris here. Mike drops with Monza again. Says, it's interesting how fans and players keep holding on to two Brock games from last year. His throwing arm uh, repaired. He's not the same player. And those teams don't even exist anymore. He's not better than five. I don't even know if he's better than 10. That's what was so depressing about this trip for the Niners. They're standing there being like, damn. Did we downgrade at quarterback? Did we downgrade? Based on these two days, you have to wonder. Niners rule makes it 100 bucks. I'm dangerously cl close to twerking. Oh my freaking God, Diet Jimmy, take that, Flav. He's Diet Jimmy. Jimmy Zero with no calories. <laughs> Michael McCann says, I told you, don't sleep on Jimmy in the Patriot system. Jimmy in that office made SF give up a second and make him one of the highest paid in the NFL. Michael, I believe you told me that. And I think it's quite, quite possible that that's what's going to happen. Let Trey cook. They're not going to. Hold on. Before I move on and get to my last topic, I just want to say, I want to thank my first and only sponsor, BetUS. If you don't know about them, they're a great online betting platform and they offer a wide range of sports betting and casino games. So if you're into like, you know, poker or something, I don't know, maybe that one, or, or, or like craps, you could do that here. Or you could bet on the 49ers. Not just the 49ers. You could do basketball, baseball. But let's say you really wanted to bet on the 49ers. Right? Let's say there's a prop bet right now. Will the Niners finish the season with the most wins in the NFL? And they're plus 800 for that prop bet. Do I know what plus 800 means? No. Do I have to know? No. As long as you know and you want to make that bet, there's a link in the description Click on it. If you put down 10 bucks, BetUS will put down like 1250. And now you got 2250 to bet on the Niners. So I would highly recommend sign up, create an account with BetUS, and use them. Use them to be your you know, one stop shop for betting. If you're into that kind of thing, which I'm not, but I open-minded and maybe I could be because now I'm in Vegas and you never know you never know what's going to happen in Vegas so bet you is this a great platform and I highly recommend it thank you very much bet us 